Counting oil rigs may not sound like an exciting task, and the final number might not seem like an exciting development. But this weekly tally of the number of oil and gas rigs operating in the United States lights up Wall Street every Friday as oil traders latch onto the count like a crystal ball that tells the future of oil and gas prices. The Baker Hughes oil and gas rig count has become the holy grail of industry standards. It's the number one tool for determining the health of the industry. This industry metric tracks the number of active drilling rigs currently in operation throughout the United States and Canada. It also tracks the international rig count, but on a less frequent basis. But it's important to note that the Baker Hughes rig count tracks the number of rigs that are drilling new wells, not the number of rigs that are currently producing oil and gas. So if it doesn't tell us how much oil and gas the U.S. is producing, why is the rig count such an important number? It turns out it's all about the trend. The number of active drilling rigs shows how much drilling activity is going on during any given week. But more than that, it shows us whether the trend is up or down. And this trend has the power to move markets because it is a good indicator of future production. And it's a fairly accurate reflection on whether the industry is willing to spend more or less money on drilling new wells than in previous weeks. The rig count's response to rising or falling oil prices isn't immediate. When oil prices fall, oil production becomes less profitable, and fewer companies will be interested in drilling. In this scenario, the rig count responds quickly, with drillers ceasing activity to save money. When oil prices rise, profits rise, which results in more risk-taking as companies are willing to spend more. But the rig count has a delayed response because it takes time for companies to reconfigure their spending plans. So it's all about trends rather than production. In May 2020, when oil prices collapsed at an unprecedented rate, the number of active drilling rigs collapsed right along with it as industry players correctly sized up that market conditions called for a major scale back in drilling new wells. But there is a reverse effect, too, when it comes to oil prices and rig count. The number of active drilling rigs in operation also affects oil prices. As analysts, investors, and traders follow the weekly drilling activity, it affects the overall market sentiment, which then results in price swings. Price swings can even happen within minutes after Baker Hughes releases its data. Baker Hughes has owned this space for a long time all on its own. But now there's a new game in town. It's called Primary Vision, and it rose out of the American shale boom. For several years, Primary Vision has been monitoring and reporting the frac spread count in North America. This frac spread count is a representation of the completion crews finishing off previously drilled but uncompleted wells. Used in conjunction with Baker Hughes rig count, the frac spread count helps to assess the state of the oil industry, particularly during difficult times. When used together, the two metrics provide insight into whether oil and gas companies are more interested in spending money on new wells or on finishing off wells they have already drilled. But can they predict the future? No, but it is the best tool that traders have to follow short-term trends. 